Good morning, everyone. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Is visible? Yes, sir. Once again, good morning to everyone. In the yesterday class, we briefly started our highway engineering first unit. At the end of the sessions, we were discussing about the advantage and disadvantage of various modes. Particularly, we focused about the roadways as well as the airways. The remaining the remaining uh, one is that waterway, uh, which is mainly having in the India. So it has a plenty of advantage, but the selected advantage is that if you want to transfer the heavy goods, so bulk amount of the goods, the yesterday pictures, we have seen the large ship, how it is carrying the huge amount of the goods in the container. So those kind of the heavy and bulky goods, if you want to transfer, then the waterways is giving the best mode for the users. Then the products with the long lead times, Example, if you are seeing that India in that harbor area and all, we are shipping the fishes, okay, for the foreign or other countries through the waterways. So, with respect to those kind of the long product and all, so we can transfer using the waterways for the longer durations as well as the longer distance can be covered in that particular mode. Also, it will be the cheapest. So not now due to the COVID, it is not running. But when you are seeing before COVID, if you want to make a journey from Chennai to Andaman, so waterways is one of the cheapest transfer way or the mode we can say when we are comparing with the airways because there is a two way to reach that particular destinations due to the water body. So one is the airways, second will be the waterways. In that particular point of time, as a passenger, if I compare the cost, then the airway will be the costlier than the waterway. So in that case, waterways is giving the cheaper for the users. So these are the some of the selected advantage when we are trying to adopt the waterway as an your transportation mode. Yes, at the same time, uh, definitely it has an, a disadvantage. The same example, if you want to reach Chennai to Andaman, 45 minutes if you are reaching or two hours if you are reaching by the flight, but in a waterway, it is taking more than 12 hours to 24 hours. Approximately, I'm saying not in an exact timing. So the duration is differ. So it is a taking a long travel time. The travel time is more compared with the other mode. So that will be the one of the disadvantage. Second, in the ocean area where the particular ship is, the, now we have the GPS devices. But still, it is difficult to exactly locate the point where you are there. So that issues are happening in the water base. Example, we know that four or five years back, the Malaysians airlines. So still, we couldn't find where it fallen in that particular ocean. So those kind of the finding that exact locations creating an issues when it is coming to the water base. Then yes, it is a limited port only it is there where the oceans are there, uh, where the water body is there, there only we can able to use this particular facilities. So that issues are very limited for the Indian condition. So these are the some of the selected advantage and disadvantage of the waterways, airways and your roadways. So in this particular uh, subject not unit in this particular subject we are mainly going to focus about the roadways only so what is the development with respect to the road how it is existing what are the design uh, what we can say mixed design we are using for the payment or the concrete road what are the failures are happening so completely you are going to cover the knowledge in the field of roadways 
specialized in the field of highway and the payment engineering so prob not probably definitely you are studying in the next semester about that railways airport and harbor as an one of the core subject in the next semester where you will get the more knowledge about the other transportation mode so let us briefly discuss the next topic elements of road transport mm -hmm. yesterday also have highlighted this elements so when it is coming to the roadway uh, as student i mentioned that now we narrow down our subject towards the road transport so in the road transport what are the elements are there first of all what it is there everybody knows that road is there right that will be the one element if the road is there what has to be there car or the bus two wheeler something supposed to be there right so that will be the second element only is this sufficient no right as a passenger we need it so we are the prime member sometimes what happening the trucks are moving what truck is doing the truck is transferring the goods or the cargo right so cargo or the goods are considering as an one of the major element in the road transport is it sufficient no still it is require some of the facilities example two roads are meeting each other so in this particular point without making any accidents how are we regulating so that kind of the facilities is considering as an another major element like a signalized intersection or the underways you are providing or the flyover you are providing so those kind of the facilities and when it is coming to the goods and all loading and unloading base and all we need to provide so those facilities are coming under the fifth major element then the sixth will be the transit time and the cost not only this physical components other than the physical components the time and the cost is playing the major role in the transportation sector particularly road transport so that is considering as an a sixth element it is an a non physical element but it is an a major thing example if you want to travel your home to nit tiruchi obviously you will see what is the shortest time right so in case if you are traveling from the hyderabad or the delhi so you cannot make your journey by bus right it take a long time two days or the four day three days and all and those kind of the travel time you have to be considered not only the travel time in case if you are comparing with the air fare and all you cannot afford it sometimes so in that case what you will do instead of bus or instead of the airways or uh, what we get plane so the best options you might be going with the railways so the rail will be the best options when you are trying to provide the optimized time with respect to the benefit cost so this is the major six elements of the transportation sector particularly when it is coming to the road transport so this is applicable for all the facilities but some of the non physical components might be changing with respect to the particular mode so this is elements of road transport hope you are getting uh, some of the basics view on the elements which we discussed in the yesterday as well as i briefed now also the next role so role of the transportation sir i don't think so i have to cover this particular slide in detail uh, definitely you might be understanding the importance of transportations uh, in the world particularly in india because everywhere transportation is playing the major role particularly the economic development of the particular country so that ultimately depending upon the transportation sector then the industrial development uh, so you might be asking how okay the first question is that how the industries are running example you may consider one man car manufacturing companies lies in chennai okay so they are manufacturing and they are producing which does not mean that all the resources we are getting in the chennai and we are manufacturing in chennai and we are distributing only the chennai people so this is the wrong statement right so chennai one of the few sources will be there some of the sources they have to arrive from there maybe the delhi they have to take it maybe from the uh, dot 
tata steel uh, so uh, where we can say jargon from the jargon they have to take so different kind of that uh, places are there the source available resources available they have to transfer from that place to chennai so the transportations transport mode happening with the help of the transportations once the construction is over it is not only the showroom available in the chennai it might be distributed throughout the world wherever that example if the ford is there the ford showroom they are transferring so you might be seen the huge big truck they are transferring the car to the many places in their particular showroom so in this case where and when the industrial developments are happening they are mainly considering the road transportations which give the high feasible to transfer the resources and once the construction is over to distribute that manufactured uh, component of their particular industrial product so that case industrial developments are mainly uh, depending on the transportation then the final will be the social and cultural development uh, so probably next semester you might be studying but the one example in the sense of social so uh, where the people transferring uh, for their personal work Uh, and when we are, they are traveling, they are interacting with unknown persons also. You might be having that experience when you are traveling in the bus or railways. Okay, so this is an one example how the social interactions are happening. But in the different and major ways are there how the social and cultural development is giving the contributions for the transportation sector. So this is the role. how three major sector are playing the major role and when it is coming to the economic one example i am telling okay so basically the onion price is 80 rupees per kg the small onion not the bigger big onion so small onion 80 rupees but when the strikes are happening okay when uh, some issues are happening so the nature uh, like the flood or the heavy rains are there so during that time you can able to see the prices are increasing hugely maybe the 200 rupees and very recently we have observed as an 500 rupees also onion price garlic prices and all so why it is happening so when the strikes are happening okay the limited transfer movement only it is happening so the truck drivers are what we can say they are striking so the people who are selling they might be depending upon the auto rickshaw or small lcv so when they are transferring with that particular mode the quantity is ultimately reducing so once the quantity is less that means your supply is less but the demand is more so that time definitely your price is making an a hike so in this case i'm just telling that how Uh, that economic point of view uh, it is playing the major role as an transportation particularly a road transportation mode then the second obviously everybody knows that currently the fuel prices are increasing like anything so that is also giving an one of the economical contributions because the gst has been uh, uh, the tax can be divided and the 20% is uh, bringing and the 80% uh, they have a divided for the development purpose so in that way when it is increasing so there is a possibility of giving that add on for the economy of the country so these are the some of the example uh, how uh, the transportation is giving the major importance in this three major category economic industry social and cultural development okay so with that introductions explanations and just moving to major discipline of transportations engineering so particularly we are talking about the road right student we are now narrowed down the topic towards the road structure or the road transportation so here we have the three major discipline one is the transportation planning so what exactly we are going to study in the sense the cities will be the what will be the current tiruchirappalli city and when it is projecting after 50 years so what will be conditions of the tiruchi by considering that conditions what are the development we can make it in the road infrastructures as well as the road facilities so when we are making this kind of the development so that can be achieved as an 
input from the transportation planners and the principal concept of the transportation plan. So this is in a one uh, way. I'm just explaining where the transportation is playing the major role. So exclusively we are going to study this one subject in the next year. Uh, in the fourth year, first semester, you have the uh, elective subject transportation planning where you will get a much more knowledge how the plannings are happening, what kind of the model we are doing, what are the simulations or the algorithms are existing. So those kind of the technical input you are studying in the next year, first semester as an elective subject transportation planning. The second one will be the payment design. The payment is playing the major role, whether it might be the bituminous road or the concrete road, or you might be studying as in a flexible or the rigid payment road. So what will be the design element, how the load bearing capacities are happening, what materials we are using for the construction purpose, how the maintenance are happening, what are the different type of the failures are there, how we are rectifying those failures, so all the details you are going to study payment design. So definitely you are getting a, a macro a layer of the input from this semester itself in your fourth and fifth unit. And the madam will be the versatile person in that particular area. So definitely you will be getting a very good uh, fundamental as well as the design principle from the fourth unit as well as the fifth unit. So other than that, uh, you might be getting uh, in the micro level. In case if you're interested in the micro level, the payment designs you might be studying as an, uh, one of the elective in the next year, second semester. So advanced payment constructions materials and all. Uh, so you, are, you may study in the next year, second semester as an uh, elective. Then the traffic engineering. So the traffic engineering is uh, nothing but uh, now we are going to study the three units, the basics and the principles which we discussed already. And other than that, the next semester uh, as a part of your elective, you might be studying the traffic engineering and safety. So micro level components in the field of the transportation road sector. So those components you might be studying in the micro level in the next semester. Probably it will be covered by me. So that's what the continuations might be happening between the what you have studied in this semester and the next semester. So this is the three major discipline. Uh, so definitely in case in the future, if you are getting an interest in the field of the transportation engineering for your masters, uh, you must know that this three discipline transportation planning, traffic engineering and the payment design. OK, with that, the highway transportation engineering. So where the planning exactly is happening, how the geometric designs are there, how the horizontal curves are we are constructing, vertical curve, OK, vertical curve itself, upwards, downwards, as I mentioned that how the signals are operated. So the plenty of the safety uh, uh, importance and the parameters what we are provided, then how the maintenance are happening. So all this existing facilities and what will be the existing conditions, particularly for the Indian conditions and what are the solutions we can able to provide. So all the things you will be studying in the core as well as the elective subject and the plenty of the researchers are going on in this particular field. So this is the uh, overview area in the field of the highway transportation engineering. So here I'm concluding the detailed uh, uh, explanations of your transportation engineering. Uh, what we can say transportation engineering overview, which include different kind of the modes. And when we are trying to narrow down it, the road transport, how it is existing. So the complete uh, details of the different modes of the transportation and the overview of the transportation engineering we have covered as in a first component of your first unit. If you have any doubt, I request the students kindly post the questions in your chat box. So I have muted. So at the end I will unmute. But now so far, if you have any doubt related to the transportation engineering, not only the topic I have covered, whatever the related to the transportation engineering, if you uh, if some questions are rising in your mind, I request the students to post in the chat box at the end of the sessions. We will be discussing your queries. So the second component of your syllabus is characteristics of road transportation. 
so yes this is already briefed during that uh, previous uh, sections itself so what is in the sense uh, we all know that if you want to use road so what are the things are required as i mentioned that the vehicle is required passenger is required okay the facilities what we are providing all the things are required right so this is the things considering as an a characteristics of road transport particularly what are the type of the vehicles are there in india i hope you might be able to recall it like the first we are the passenger then bicycle we have in a home two wheeler motorized two wheeler there itself we can divide with gear without gear some of the having the electrical bike then what we have car we have car itself you have the personal car taxi this is the different then the three wheeler auto rickshaw is existing for india then the bulk amount of the people if you want to transfer in the sense we have the buses bus itself mini bus we have and the normal buses we have then the goods transfer if you want to transfer the goods uh, we have that small lcb uh, light commercial vehicle then the heavy commercial vehicle there itself the axle load is differ with a six wheel you might be having the eight wheels you might be having then the two trucks connected together so those kind of that uh, uh, trucks also you can able to observe on the field so these are the transportations road transportations mode which is existing and using dominantly for the indian condition so all these types are playing the one of the main characteristics of the road transport then definitely it is require the cost right investment is required so the government is playing the major characteristics when it is coming to the investment so it might be the government money or the tender we are floating then we are trying to connect it so that is giving us an a second input or oh, slide is not changed okay so this is an a second one so the road investment we are investment we are getting from the government then the rules and regulations so when it is coming to the rules and regulations as an a driver you have the flexibility to drive in that particular road at any lane since in india we are not following any lane discipline so as an a driver or the passenger you have your own rights to choose the lane or the mode or whatever the route you want to choose everything is depending upon your need and convenience then the speed and movement directly related to the severity of the accident so the speed as well as how the movement is happening so that characteristics also considering as an a main characteristics of road transport then the road transport is ultimately replicating the whole community it is not only the individual persons everybody who is existing in the society who are alive in the society we all are using that particular facilities right so without the road or the any transportation mode nothing will happen throughout the world so it is actually it is replicating the whole community i am not saying that uh, the road transport is or the transport is uh, throughout the dominating and the number one i am just telling that this is also one of the mandatory facilities Uh, for the people like us not as everyone in the world so that's what i want to highlight it so these are the major characteristics of road transport uh, which need to be keep in your mind when it is coming to the transportation engineer or the transportation planner whatever the work or uh, the decisions you want to make it in the small scale or the larger scale so other than that different characteristics are there so that you might be studying in the next semester in your traffic engineering and safety and the micro level each and every characteristics how it is playing the major role example uh, like the volume so the volume is how it is getting the affections and when it is coming to the safety so what kind of that uh, facilities we are trying to propose so example uh, uh, coordinator signal if we are proposing so how the coordinations are happening so the different kind of that facilities and the angle how the characteristics are giving the uh, input as an a technical component of your road transport facilities so that you might be studying in the briefly for the next semester but here you will get an overview of this major components which you need to know as an a common civil engineer so this is an a characteristics of road transport 
your second component of your first unit. The third one will be the highway development in India. So here we are going to cover briefly uh, how the development happened in India. OK, so uh, yes, how the developments are happening in India. Uh, some of the uh, historical things also we will see. So that is not only the India throughout the world it happened, but in the view of India, I'm just to focusing. So one minute. So India, how it is happening that we will see. Ah, ah, Dean Academic Office, Dean Academic Office. Ah. Dean Academic Office. Ah. So next will be the highway development in India. How it is happened that we will see historically how it is happening. OK, so in the yesterday class, I have told that the Roman so Rome, the people they have given the lot of contributions uh, to the development of the road structure throughout the world in a larger scale. So that's what we used to refer the Roman as a pioneers in the field of the road constructions. So with that, the historically how the development happened in the ancient time in the sense. OK, so it is an ancient road initially to happen then with respect to the less technical component, the Roman given the lot of uh, what we can say development in the road sector. If you study the history, uh, definitely uh, you will be getting a lot of interest how the development is happen in this period and see to the Roman roads so how the uh, uh, huge changes happened that you can able to observe it from there. Some small, small uh, 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 changes are happened. Then the French road came, British road came. And the finally where we are now the modern road now what we are using. So all these things and all uh, it is a kind of that um, it is a major only not with respect to the quantum. So example 20 percentage road it is there. So here we might be achieved 90 percentage itself, but the remaining 10 percentage only we are achieving. But that 10 percentage itself we can say as an a strong one. So without 10 percentage, uh, we cannot get that 100 uh, percentage satisfactory, right? The last 10 component is the major one with respect to the quality scale, but in a not in a quantitative scale. So that is the reasons. So all the developments are major development, uh, but the huge set of the changes has happened between the ancient and the Roman roads. So let us quickly cover all this development of how it has happened in the single slides. So this is an ancient road. Basically we were walking right. So the foot then what happened? The wheel we have invented. So the wheel we have a inventor. Uh, then the wheel when it is going, how the hardening are happening on the road. So that road is considering as an ancient road. Still we can able to see some of the record of the road. Uh, they have found which constructed in the 1900 BC. So this kind of the observations we can able to see and this is in a, one of the example how the ancient roads are there. Still, it is not an ancient road for your imaginations. I'm just telling that uh, in case if you are walking uh, or in here some village, if you can able to see uh, that uh, road without the payment or the concrete by walking itself, uh, we can able to see the roads. So this is the things and one example if you want to see that I hope uh, you all visited our campus in the hostel you can able to see right uh, so near I think Pearl I think Pearl or uh, yeah Opal and uh, not Pearl okay so this kind of the road you have to go then you have to take left and you have to go here your hostel will be there from here hostel and I think if you are coming here your lecture hall complex will be there so this is the road we have a constructed but what you made it here you made it as a walking path as well as the cycle path where we have not provided any provisions for the road but day by day every student started using the cycles are using so that become a one of the shortcut without providing the any facilities so this kind of the scenarios only happen in the ancient durations so without any technical uh, input or without any technical facilities 
the ancient roads were existing uh, they were using people for transferring the one place to the another place then yes i mentioned that the development are happened technical development are happened particularly the drainage good material good workmanship using all the facilities they were using some of the very good durable road constructions are happen so these people are invented this particular road still we can able to see some of the roman road in the uh, world somewhere it is existing for the historical reasons they might be keeping that particular things and this is an uh, way uh, they have started to construct the road so with respect to the large stone they made it as a foundation then small small broken stone of the lime concrete curb stone sandal they were using then again they were providing the large uh, stone so here the trainage issue was there uh, uh, but with respect to the material they might be thinking that the penetrations or the observations or the uh, things are moving on it Uh, but still uh, so that might be taking us on a little bit lag or the drawbacks which ultimately leads to introduce the next british type of the or the french roads they started inventing to fill the gap uh, which is uh, in introduced by the roman so this is you no know, one thing technically explanations and this is the uh, non technical way the big figure taken from the google only uh, how they were laying so this is an uh, example for the roman roads how it is uh, happening so the large stone small small stone on bottom also they are using the large stone so this is the way uh, they have the done so there is a no size no specifications no proper provisions for the drainage so those kind of the things which ultimately leads for the introducing the concept of the french roads laptop la na use panikonuma french roads so they might be specifying with respect to the different kind of the pieces and uh, different kind of that uh, design concepts they brought it in the structure particularly they have a consider how to provide uh, the uh, what we can say benefit for the drainage so nowadays also still we are feeling the drainage issues for the roads particularly for the indian conditions everywhere the road will be there something some blocks are happening they are removing and again the things are happening uh, the slopes we are not providing so still existing conditions also the drainage issues are there so with respect to the different pieces sizes of the stone different kind of that uh, layer thickness introducing the concept of the drainage chambers all the possible things as in a technical components they uh, what we can say they introduced french road so this is invented by trashard in the year 1764 uh, students there is a high possibilities in the competitive exam they might be asking the persons name who invented or the, you might be getting an options or definitely might be get asking getting the questions with respect to the years so this kind of the questions which we observed in the different uh, civil service exam as well as your uh, gate exam so the name of the person the year the type of the roads and what are the gaps that means which we discussed right rome and french what are the lag is happened so those kind of the technical things and there is a less chance on the asking this thickness uh, layer thickness and the ranking and all so these are the expected questions in your uh, government exams okay so keep in mind and make memory in your uh, all this uh, what we can say years name as well as the technical or the significant contributions not only this type of the roads uh, next also some of the uh, technical component we are going to discuss that also need to be considered so this is with respect to the french road how it has uh, happened uh, then again uh, british road introduced uh, it is introduced by the macadam so we can able to see ma'am might be detailed uh, covering the macadam road also you might be studying or the comparing for your Uh, mix designs with respect to the typical or the old design pattern so here also the same broken stone they have used but the layers and the other things are differ yeah this is an a structures john macadam he has been introduced and we can say this is the first scientific road constructions method so initially subgrade soil will be there 
uh, then the broken stones with respect to the different uh, size we are providing then the surface cores we are providing so this basic concept only modified and uh, now we are existing as a pavement road and the concrete road uh, how the surface will be there uh, sub base will be there base will be there and the top uh, what are the prime coat or we are providing so all the things and the drainage of how we have a provided shoulder width so all the concepts are uh, slightly uh, modified and uh, we now we are introduced the different materials techniques and the technology in the road facilities so this is what development has uh, happened and this will be the first uh, scientific road constructions method john macadam who has been introduced so that can be still it is accepted and applying for the advanced or the modern roads so that modern road is nothing but as i mentioned that different kind of the materials different kind of the design concept and the different uh, thickness so all the experimental as well as the research work we were done and finally now we have achieved this kind of the uh, perfect uh, way as in a concrete road else the rigid road rigid and this will be the flexible road which is nothing but your bituminous road so this detail about that flexible as well as the rigid road you might be studying in the th fourth and the fifth unit parallelly madam will be covering so this is the history of road development the technical component how the things are happen the ancient time which is not covered in the picture but that will be the one thing then the roman road how it has happened then the french roads british road macadam how he is introduced then the modern road the modern road itself flexible as i mentioned that then the concrete road this is nothing but your pavement road so this is in a history which has been achieved throughout the road development throughout the world also particularly india in india so this is the now uh, it is a little bit of the old statistics so the 3 3.314 million kilometers of road space which is placing the second largest road network in the world in india so this is 2 years back uh, the taken statistics definitely it will be changed the numbers will be definitely it is changed and with respect to the density uh, uh, okay when we are considering the per square kilometer so we are far ahead from the us as well as the chinese and the brazils so just run a view and just giving and whenever you are getting a time you just to try to explore how the statistic has been changed so there is a possibilities of asking the questions in our civil service uh, with respect to the indian road network how it is existing how the densities are there when we are comparing with the other country where we are currently so those kind of the clear pictures you try to get it from the google so the generally uh, till previous slide we have seen generally how the developments are happened so there also there is a high chance of asking the competitive questions and this is also one of the very important uh, Uh, what we can say important topic we can say how the highway development happened in india by introducing the different kind of the committees so different kind of the committees with respect to the different responsibility with respect to the different deadline we have introduced and some of the committees still it is working for the indian road infrastructural development so uh, you must keep this slide in your mind what are the committee and year so uh, n number of time i have observed the questions of this particular year so when the central road fund is introduced so they might be giving 27 29 39 47 so this kind of the questions i have observed in the uh, many uh, competitive exams okay gate as well as the civil service exam so it is the uh, highly suggested slide or we can say the topic uh, you have to keep in the mind how the highway development in india happened uh, it is as a part of your uh, curriculum also so it is giving the dual purpose so very quickly uh, i will cover uh, so how oh, all this development are happened uh, in the indian conditions so probably i will cover one or two in the today sessions so remaining we will cover in the next week session so first first we have introduced jaikar committee in india so once the world war is first world war is over 
uh, the dominations of the motor vehicle it is increased which ultimately uh, demanded the requirement of the uh, best road for the users so that's what we are in the arch and we were in the need of the uh, technical committee uh, who can take the full responsibility of the road infrastructure development of our country so that's what the government has appointed mr jaikar as an chairman and they have introduced the jaikar committee 1927 so which has a uh, some set of the group some set of group of people so who from the academicians industrial not industrials uh, the government sectors state wise central central wise uh, and the different kind of that uh, pp involvement also public partnerships involvement also happened so the committee is taken the full responsibility how to arrive the fund how to uh, get the tax in the form of the petrol and how we are going to utilize the fund uh, okay how to the technical components we are going to give how we are going to share that particular ideas to the end users finally how the implementation is going to happen so all the research theoretical as well as the practical implementations they have studied and they try to uh, introduce in the practical manner in the applications and the outcome of the jaikar committee which is uh, happened from the year 1927 so in the parallelly in the 1929 they have introduced central road fund concept that means examples i have highlighted with respect to the petrol so they were charging some of the extra so example 2.64 paise per liter not now that time okay so they were charging so from that particular amount 20 percentage they were spending that amount for the research and experimental work so the students the whatever facilities if you want to provide we cannot directly provide on the field example something you might be introduced as a, some uh, uh, some smart car okay automatic car directly we cannot go and apply on the road right so some of the laboratory scaling level you have to uh, design it uh, then you have to run it then what we have to say you have to do the experimental once it is succeed in the small scale then you can able to implement that particular facilities in the larger scale so this small scale everything is happening in the laboratory level some example if you want to say in the sense our institute is one of the research institute other than the academic as a faculties we are doing a lot of research with the help of the phd mtech as well as during your ug project also some research you are doing and you are getting an output that output is giving an as an input for the practical implementations so that practical implementations they are using the balance 80 percentage amount which we achieved from that taxes which we uh, charged against the petrol usage so this kind of the concept they have introduced in the name of central road fund still we are using this particular uh, fund and other than that the plenty of the ways we have introduced how to engage the fund for the road construction then the very important one the two committees there one is irc committee second will be the crri committee uh, yeah then motor vehicle act also there uh, so four uh, major committee uh, which still it is working on the one is that indian road congress certain when it is coming to the transportation engineering uh, you must keep mind irc this three term irc indian road congress so this is an a manual uh, what we can say indian road congress manual so we are using and adopting for any facilities implementations so this irc committee is formed in the 1934 uh, so here also the same uh, so the different kind of that expert will be there who can do the experiments and then based on their experiments um, so they were introduced some of the specifications as well as the standard example if you want to construct some flyover so you have to refer irc uh, okay in case if you want to introduce some of the signalized intersections so the provisions everything you have to refer irc 
if you want to provide some of the sign board okay the first year i have covered the sign board if you want to introduce it might be having some of the standard and the specification for the indian condition that specifications is definitely referred by the irc manual so this is the their ultimate aim while introducing the 1934 they should understand what will be the indian existing scenario what kind of facilities we can provide it we can provide to provide that facilities what will be the terms and conditions what will be the specifications okay and how it is can be achieved so all the uh, complete uh, technical details with respect to the guidelines stand standard and uh, they have introduced example irc 31 1984 so this manual is giving the design standard of signalized intersection example i'm just telling so likewise they have introduced the n number of the manual which can be referred and very recently 2012 and 20 also so they have a modified some of the manuals also based on that research outcome so this is the uh, scope of the indian road congress also they are publishing some of the journals research publications also finally the specifications guidelines which giving the great platform for the professionals as well as that uh, road constructors finally as an uh, users we are getting the benefit so this is with respect to the indian road congress followed by irc you just to keep in the mind followed by the motor vehicle act uh, i don't think so i need to define so everybody having the driving most of the your classmates are having the driving license even though if you not have you might be knowing the motor vehicle act so what is the rules and regulations if you are violating what will be happening so those kind of the standard laws uh, uh, law as well as the regulations achieved uh, and still we are following with the motor vehicle act design or the formulations which is introduced in the 1939 and it was revised in the 1988 so it is controlling three set of the sectors driver vehicle ownership and vehicle operations so i think one of the vehicle act in the sense very recently uh, last two last year we have seen the revisions on the helmet non helmet usage if you are not using the helmet what the penalty is revised seat belt if you are not using uh, the penalty is introduced drunk and driving is making then the fine of the 5000 this over speeding so those kind of that uh, act is introduced by the motor vehicle act approval so then only we can able to introduce it so this is an another major uh, contributions or the development we can say as an indian aspect then the crri central road research institute which is introduced in the 1950 irc we have introduced in the 39 so and the parallelly 1950 they have introduced which is also working as an center it is like our nit only so but not for the ug center so the pg level they are doing research level they are doing and the different kind of the sectors will be there so all the people are doing the research pure research level they are doing that outcome can be uh, defined in a uh, what we can say manual so in the 2018 they have introduced indo hcm indian highway capacity manual so with an effort of 5 years okay 2000 i think 12 i think they have started 10 to 12 they have started and they have ended in 2018 finally they have introduced indian highway capacity manual which is the short form of indo hcm so where they have given us an seven chapter signalized intersection unsignalized intersection pedestrian Uh, urban road so the different kind of the chapters seven chapters introduced each chapters they have given the guidelines based on the outcome of the research which has been done uh, by various iits nits as well as their institute people crri people so all together they brought that final outcome so this is an uh, one in uh, committee which we formed in the year 1950 so i just to proud to say that my phd work also incorporated as an one of the outcome of indian highway capacity manual so under the pedestrian as well as the signalized intersection 
so you can able to see my outcome. So this is the way the various research people has been involved to give the contributions uh, for the development of the standard which purely fit for the Indian conditions. So this is an, another committee 1950 they have formed. Then the uh, final one is that MORTH Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. This is purely depending. Uh, this is purely government. So wherever you can able to see if you're traveling on the highways, you can able to see the board MORTH. So this is the people who is actually involving in the constructions of the particular facilities. Also, they are giving the funding support for the state government. So some of the rural road, village road, district road and all, if you want to construct it, the funding is required from the central government. So the more this the full responsibility of constructing or the whatever the outcome the previous committee is proposing. So this implementations related concepts and the responsibility taken care of the more which is still running and this is the pure responsibility. I'm sure that the many places you can able to see the uh, sign of the more particularly in the highways, rural road and the village road under the various scheme. OK, uh, from that, uh, yes, uh, the development happened. So the under the various scheme we are introducing under the smart cities, OK, making India currently I'm saying. So previously also, uh, 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 so various uh, uh, government is involved and we can able to see how the highway development has uh, happened. That evidence we can able to see as a sign of the board. So this is in a brief introduction about the different committee. Uh, slightly I have taken extra few minutes. Uh, OK, but hope uh, you got the good knowledge from this extra time. So students and the today class very quickly I will cover. We just started with that advantage disadvantage of the waterways uh, followed by the transportation engineering. How the major disciplines we are dividing us on a payment planning and the traffic. Then what are the major characteristics are existing with respect to the road transport that we have uh, covered very quickly. Followed by we try to cover how the highway development are happened from the ancient period to the advanced roads where we are existing. So the technical contributions, how it happened that we covered in the today lecture. Finally, we have a seen various development committee, how it is existing in India. So different committees are formed in the India. So all the committees we have seen and so far what we have covered in the today class, there is a high possibilities of getting the questions in your competitive exam. So the next class we will see uh, some other technical components with respect to the different year plans, including the different pattern of the roads. So here I'm concluding the today sessions. Any doubt? So probably you might be having the next class very shortly. So if you have any doubts, you just to post in the chat box or you just to text me. The next class we will cover with respect to the queries and the discussions. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, students. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir. 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 Yeah, thank you, everyone. I'm ending the session.